Hello there, hi, this is Carla coming to you live. And today I wanted to talk to you about your pets. Uh, is your cat or dog, do you ever wonder if they are stressed out or just bummed? I've got three tips for you to help keep them engaged and um, being more content. I seem to talk a lot about ourselves, humans, and our well-being, but today I wanted to share a little bit about our four-legged friends and family. Okay, so first of all, you want to keep them moving. Um, Take your, your dog for a walk around the block. Uh, my little girl is 14 years old and it's a struggle to take her on a walk around the block, but we've been doing it and she seems to be very content and happy along the way. Um, even cats can benefit from five to 10 minutes of play. And you can use one of those laser pointers or the, um, like the sticks with the little feather, but to engage them in play, especially if your cats are indoor cats. Um, so you wanna keep them moving. That'll keep them happy, healthy with the exercise. Secondly, you want to keep them thinking. You're probably, now how in the world are you going to keep your, your cat or your dog thinking? But pets, just like people, um, they need that mental stimulation. So when you're taking your dog for a walk, let them stop and smell. I know sometimes I just have to accept it that uh, my little girl, like I said, she's 14 and with when I take her for a walk, it's just for a leisurely stroll for myself. I'm not getting any true exercise for me, but for her, she is, and I let her stop and smell everything because that gets her little brain going and just new sense um, stimulates their brains. And lastly, give them some space. Um, you know, it's just helpful to, for them to have a quiet space for them to wind down in, in a place that they know is their own um, space for for relaxation, just like we do. So I just wanted to share those three little tips with you. If you feel like your pet is um, being stressed out or bummed, make sure that they're getting some movement. Make sure that they're having activities to help them think and give them some space for their own little privacy to to wind down now if you're wondering for sure you know does your cat or dog have you know are they stressed out reach out to me i have um, a little article here some clues that your dog or cat might be bummed out or stressed and i'd be happy to share that with you hi marty thanks for joining um so if you'd like that information, just message me below or send me a private message and I'd be happy to share that with you. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.